Can you help me with some research? The adult reference librarian would be happy to help you right over. Where is the reference librarian? She's retired. So who's working reference? No one is. Budget cuts, you know. I'll be right there to help you. <laughs> Nice outfit, sir. What did you need to know? Which sleeve blanket was invented first? The Snuggie or the Slanket? I know just the reference material you need. One moment. Excuse me, madam. Can you please tell me where the DVDs are located? They used to be right here. Uh, our collection has been downsized, so they now fit on a small shelf right over here. Thank you. I signed up for computer time, but the computer's not there. What am I supposed to do? Uh, yes, that one broke down. Uh, we can't afford to replace it, but I can get it sorted out. Uh, meet me over at the counter. Here you are. What is that? This is a 1981 Tron tabletop video game designed after the landmark film where people get sucked into a vast computer network. So I can go online with it? Strangely enough, no. Watch out for those light cycles. I, I would like to sign up for story time. Great. Well, I can't find the Tuesday, Thursday listing. Oh, those were discontinued. Or the Friday morning walk-ins. Unfortunately, we can only have one story time a week now, and we can't keep the lights on in the auditorium anymore. So that's why your one story time is held in the parking lot? Yes. At six in the morning? Well, at least the street lights are still on. Mommy. The Snuggie and the Slanket are actually made by the same company, with the Slanket being released in 2006. I knew it! Though they were both uh, predated by the Freedom Blanket in 2005. I'm glad I've got mine. Sorry about the chill. The heating system's down. I was unable to locate your Star Trek original series DVDs on the bookcase indicated. Did you look in the fiction? Fiction? Uh, Star Trek is science fiction. That does not compute. Computer, lights! Is it a power outage? Save me, Snuggy! No, no, they're just trying to cut costs. Uh, budget cuts, you know. Regional Library, how can I help you? Yes, of course, let me check on that for you. Yes, you do have the room reserved. How early? Of course, I'll go set that up for you right now. Thank you. Can somebody help me? Can I get a printout of these so I'll know when my books are due? Sure, let me just... Hey, where's my computer? What's this? Where's my computer? How to downgrade. Budget cuts, you know. But how do I... Can you renew this item? It's my favorite. Leonard Maltin's Movie and Video Guide from 1995. I love this book. I've been renewing it for years. Uh, he comes out with a new one every year. I know, but I love his review of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. A funny and irreverent illustration of what inspired professionals can accomplish without much of a budget. All right, let's renew this puppy. You really should have enough money for computers. I'll be right back. Excuse me, do you have a book list for kids who like mysteries? Of course. Uh, here you are. Can't read this, it's all streaky. Well, our printer's very old and we can't afford to replace it, but let me try to run you off a fresh copy. There you are! How will I know when to bring my books back? You're missing Season 2, Disc 5. The Trouble with Tribbles is my favorite episode. The real mystery is trying to make out these book lists. That Tron game is too hard. And I'm missing the live chat on SexySumoWrestlers.com. Okay. 
Just bring your items back in two weeks. We can't afford multiple copies of any DVD, but if you place a hold, we'll call you on your communicator when it comes in for you. If you squint, maybe you could read it. If not, just give him some hardy boys. And you, sexysumowrestlers.com. Ew. Thank you so much. Glad I could help. You come back now. Goodbye. She was nice. Another day at the library, huh? When the budget was for Slash, I was petrified. Had to do my job with my new printer denied. Then I ran off a few more. They didn't look too wrong. The streaks are long. But we'll just have to get along. So we stepped back in the library base. Approving fewer but better programs with that disgrace. Should we stop inviting authors? Should we buy condensed books? Pretty sure that the homeschoolers would just give us dirty looks. Come on now, walk in our door. Just wander around now. You are welcome to explore. Did you think we'd stop reading to your kids? We still want them to learn about the pyramids and Check us out now. Take a